Hello everyone, welcome back to CarbonWorks. Today we've got Pete's Yas Marina Blue FATM 3 in, and the reason why is pretty obvious, is this huge arch gap here. Um, so Pete's tired of looking at that, and he wants the car to sit and look and ride as it should, rather than with this massive arch gap. So to fix that, we've got in touch with our friends at AST, who have supplied us with a full height adjustable spring kit, which is behind the camera over there. Uh, it's a workshop first for us here, so although we've supplied them, we've not yet fitted this kit, so we're looking forward to it. It's hopefully a great alternative to the genuine BMW M Performance kit, but without the price tag. Um, so yeah, what that will do is give full adjustability over the ride height, both front and rear, but without having to replace all of the shocks and everything else suspension related on this car. It's just the springs, a slip-on kit over the front shock absorbers to allow for height adjustment, which means that we can dial it in for the smallest amount of fag paper worthy arch gap at the front and then potentially raise it back up at a later date when he goes for a front splitter that I know he really wants. So uh, join me over there in a minute, we'll wander through the kit and then I'll go through the process of fitting it to the car. So here we have the full suspension kit from AST. As you can see it's quite comprehensive. So front and rear pair of springs there, same again here, so a full set for the car. Uh, then you've got your front adjustment perches at the rear which slip on over the front shock absorber to replace the factory original spring perch. And then the adjustable rear platforms there. You've got revised bump stops, which is to go on the front, which is great. So that allows a little bit more uh, shock travel before bottoming out. And lastly, the all important adjustment tool, which slots into the height adjusters, again, both front and rear to set the car up once it's all fitted. There's also a kit contents and installation manual, which is great for anyone trying to install themselves. Um, and that about covers it. All the usual perks from AST, warranty, uh, backup, etc. Um, everything that we know from them already, running a lot of their lower end spings, including our F56 Mini. So that just about covers that. It is available for other brands and other models BMW, so please get in touch. Um, obviously, we don't need to show every last bit of this kit going on the car, so Tim will do the usual level of B-roll, maybe a bit of time lapse. Um, the important thing really is the changing over of the front spring perch, so we'll document a bit of that for you guys today. Um, but otherwise, I'll get the kit on and then we'll look at getting it adjusted down so it sits nice and low, hunkered down to the road. And hopefully Pete will be more than pleased to see it in its new aggressive stance later on today. And here we have it, the right ride height for an M3. So as I said, we've got both ends all fitted up. Nice, actually, really nice job to do. Um, everything fitted and worked as it should. Got the ride height dialed in, so road test, settled down, everything. And what suspension installation wouldn't be complete without a bit of carbon work special source in the form of a fast road alignment. So it's been on our machine. We've dialed it all in. It's got fresh tires, wheel refurb, properly stanced. He's hopefully back for some carbon soon. What more could you want? So Pete's gonna come pick this up in a minute. Hopefully he'll enjoy it as much as we have. Uh, and that's about it. Stay tuned, hopefully see this car again. Otherwise, like, share, subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.